Good morning, this is Gabriel Jack, and I welcome the BJC Mitzvah Day, number six, the obligation to eat the meat of the Passover offering. We are using the Sefer Achinuch, amazing book, goes through tremendous details and the root of the mitzvah. There's even more commentary than what I share on our video. That's why I believe we should have a lunch and learn learning one of these mitzvahs. So let me know if you're interested. I'm thinking Thursday for lunch, maybe Wednesday. Okay, I'd love to hear your feedback for those who live in Houston. All right, number six, the obligation to eat the meat of the Passover offering. Again, this in Parsha's bow. Also, I want to correct myself. All the mitzvahs that we mentioned since number four are all from Parsha's bow. The first two, Parshio, Shemos, and Vayera, have no mitzvahs. So the mitzvah the sanctify the new moon, the mitzvah to sacrifice the Paschal lamb, and the obligation to eat the meat of the Passover offering are all in Parsha's bow, as well as another 17 mitzvahs to come, 20 altogether. They shall eat the flesh on that night, roasted over fire, and matzahs with bitter herbs shall they eat it. That's from Exodus. In addition to the mitzvah to slaughter the Passover offering, which we said you do in the afternoon before Passover night, there is a separate mitzvah to eat its meat. We are commanded to eat the meat of the Pesach offering on the night of the 15th of Nisan, Seder night, which is the first night of Pesach. In accordance with the conditions stipulated in the verse, as it is stated, They shall eat the flesh on that night, roasted over fire and matzahs with bitter herbs, shall they eat it. The underlying purpose of the mitzvah, among the underlying purpose, purposes of this mitzvah, is that which we have already written in mitzvah number five in reference to the slaughter of the Pesach offering, namely, that we Jews should recall for all time the great miracles that God performed for us when he took us out of the Egyptian bondage, which is something that we always should remember every day, but we certainly go into detail on Seder night. Laws of the mitzvah. The laws of the mitzvah include, for example, how much is the minimum amount that each person is required to eat of the Pesach offering? And how those who are registered on the offering must conduct themselves until they finish eating it, including that they may not leave the location of the group and that they may not go to sleep until after having finished eating. These laws and the additional details of this mitzvah are elaborated in Tractate Pesachim. It talks all about Pesach. Applicability of the mitzvah. This mitzvah is applicable to both men and women. One who transgresses this mitzvah has violated a mitzvah obligation. The Chinuch, again, that's the name of the author, discusses the ramification, the ramification of refusing to fulfill a mitzvah obligation. It is a major principle throughout the Torah with respect to anyone who says that he will violate a mitzvah obligation that the base in the court is authorized to coerce him, force him, if they have the power to do so until he fulfills it. Obviously, doing the best thing for his neshama, for his soul. That was your mitzvah. Thanks for listening to Sponsor Future Mitzvah, 36 of the Gold. And PM me if you're interested in a lunch you learn to learn these mitzvahs together in person over a nice, scrumptious lunch. See you tomorrow.